My wife and I are breeders. We have twins. I had always dreamed of having twins. It's just in my dreams, they were the Olsen twins in a hot tub. It was different, but this is special, it really is. <laughs> I'll tell you, twin pregnancy is a brutal pregnancy. First trimester, a lot of vomiting and crying, and my wife was having a tough time too, and then... <laughs> they want to make sure you're not gonna pass out in the delivery room, so the doctor said to me, uh, have you ever witnessed childbirth before? And I said, yeah, but it was a long time ago, and it was from the inside. <laughs> I am a big fan of yours. Please welcome the great Tom Cotter. Tom Cotter. Tom Cotter. Tom Cotter. One of my twins came home from catechism class, religion class, and he said, Daddy, do we evolve from Adam and Eve? And I said, well, Adam and Eve were first, but then they had kids, and they had kids, and they had kids, and that's how you came to be. And he said, well, Mommy said we evolved from apes. And I said, well, Mommy was talking about her side of the family, but on our side... <laughs> They're really cute, though. We play hide-and-seek all the time, and they can never find me, because you gotta be 21 to get into a bar. But they're really cute. And they're not the sharpest tools in the shed, and everyone seems to know that. Uh, the town put a sign right outside our house that says, slow children, and that's humiliating. Uh, <laughs> Tonight, I give you Comedy on Demand, where I relinquish control of my material. Howie, will you please pick a topic? Are you serious? I am serious. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, College, I never went, tell me about it. College for me was the best 28 semesters of my entire life. I, I don't wanna brag, I went to Columbia, I worked for a drug cartel, then I went to community college, and I was a political science major, I had a minor, her name was Debbie, and I got in some trouble for that. <laughs> Junior year, I studied abroad, her name was Lucy. <laughs> she had arthritis, and I, uh, I used to fall asleep in class, and my professors hated that because I sleep naked. But I loved college, I really did. College kids now are different. I call them kiddiots. They, uh, they pierce everything, right? Nose piercing, which is a great look until you sneeze and put someone's eye out. Some of the girls get the tongue piercing, right? With the metal spike through the tongue, which is why I had parts of my body magnetized. And... Was that out loud? Nipples, young people pierce their nipples. I could ne I wore a clip-on. I could never. <laughs> and they get tattoos, right? Everybody has to have tattoos, and the girls all get them on the lower back, upper buttocks, and it's always something beautiful, like a, a bird or a butterfly emerging from the cocoon of the butt crack, right? We've all seen that, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense, because we've all had butterflies fly out of our butts, haven't we, Howie? Swarms of them. And it's a beautiful butterfly. Do you know why? Because she's 19 years old. But 30 years from now, that's gonna look like a moth that's slammed into a windshield, isn't it? I'm Tom Cotter and I approve this message. I like real dogs. I have a lab, it's a meth lab, but I guard it with pit bulls. And I also have a Dalmatian. I named him G-Spot because I can never find him. For the better part of 50 years, Donald Duck has been walking around in front of his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, with a shirt on, no pants. Explain that. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Do you remember Snow White? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, one hot chick and seven middle-aged dwarfs. That's an adult film, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. Sexual harassment, <laughs> sexual assault. Rub-a-dub-dub -dub three men in a tub. Why does my bank spend 45 cents every month on a stamp to tell me I have less than that in my account? <laughs> Visa and MasterCard are nice to me. They call me every week and compliment me. They tell me my balance is outstanding. <laughs> family. My sister's a stamp collector. Food stamps, we love her. <laughs> she has two little ones, but she's getting breast implants. <laughs> I... Why is it every time I'm about to take the stage, some idiot will come up to me and say, hey, break a leg. Screw you. I hope you rupture your spleen, you idiot. They don't mean anything by it. We just don't know what the hell we're saying in our language. I don't want to beat a dead horse. I don't want you to either. 
There's more than one way to skin a cat. How many ways do you need, you psycho? He looks down his nose at me. Well, of course, we all look down our nose. If he could look up his nose at you, either he'd be a freak or you'd be a booger. Those are the only options. Looking for a needle in a haystack. Who's shooting up in the barn? That's my question. His eyes were bigger than his stomach. Well, run for your life. That dude's an alien. Who is this bug-eyed anorexic freak? She's a party pooper. Ugh. Keep her away from the dip. Some of these things sound disturbingly wrong, don't they? He's on the lam. He needs a girlfriend immediately. We say the dumbest things, don't we? I know it like the back of my hand. I don't even know the back of my hand. I'm intimately involved with the front of my hand, but that's not important right now. Stupid things like, can I bend your ear? Sure, if I can poke you in the eye, you jackass. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. What the hell is that? That's a squirrel on crack. That's what that is. She'll bend over backwards to please you. Really? Hey, I'm Tom Cotter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everyone's on their feet. I love your delivery. I love your jokes. You were quick, you were confident, and the jokes just kept on coming. You're gifted and funny. You know how to take a crowd in 90 seconds and win them over. You're phenomenal.